Hello everybody, my name is Dean Davis, and this is Multiply, the podcast that provides a word of encouragement to village church planters. Some of my greatest experiences of Christian fellowship have occurred in cell groups. God, our Heavenly Father, uses the intimacy of a home, the warmth of a small group, the light of His Word, and the faith of brothers and sisters in Christ to strengthen His children. Cell groups provide all of these blessings. Cell groups help us know that we are not alone in the world. They point us to God and give us strength to go on. For these reasons and more, village church planters are encouraged to start new cell groups to help their churches grow. But almost invariably, the question arises, but who is qualified to lead a cell group? This question is one of the very most important questions that a church planner can ask. Who is qualified to lead small groups within the church? Who is qualified to lead a cell group? If the church planner fails to answer this question well, he or she will run into many problems. If the church planner makes the requirements for becoming a cell group leader too difficult, few, if any, church members will start new groups. But if the church planner allows unqualified church members to lead new cell groups, that poor decision can lead to all sorts of problems. You are a church planter. Whom should you choose to start and lead new cell groups? Let me encourage you to set two very firm requirements. First of all, only choose men and women who are faithful, available, and teachable. Secondly, Only choose men and women whom you are willing and able to train little by little on an ongoing basis after they start their groups. The very ideas and skills you have learned in the VCP Training Center are the ideas and skills you need to pass on to cell group leaders in your church. Paul told his disciple Timothy, The things that you've heard me say in the presence of many witnesses entrust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. In the same way, if you want cell groups in your church to prosper, find reliable people and teach them to be effective leaders. Find faithful men and women who have learned to obey Jesus' commands. Find faithful men and women who love God and neighbor and who have identified themselves with Christ through baptism and participation in the Lord's Supper. Show them how to lead a cell group. Then lead by example. Invite them to start a cell group in their own home. When you invite them to start a cell group, they may be somewhat fearful of the new responsibility, but your solemn promise that you will walk beside them and train them month by month should reassure them. Cell groups are inherently simple. Bring five to 20 people together at a time of day or night that is convenient for you and for them. Give a warm welcome, show respect and kindness, pray and study God's word, talk freely among yourselves, help everyone little by little to trust God more and and obey him more fully. Keep it simple, keep it real. Who can lead a cell group? Men and women who are faithful, available, and teachable. What do these faithful, available, and teachable men and women need to be successful? They need your encouragement, your instruction, your prayer support, month by month for many months. If you give them these things, soon they will be teaching others to start new groups. This has been Multiply, and I'm Dean Davis asking, Who will you share this encouraging word with today?